Tell us briefly about this new book and, and what propelled you sir, uh, to write it. It's called The Greatest Show on Earth. It's about the evidence for evolution. My previous books have assumed that evolution is true and looked at various aspects of them. This is the first of my books that's really laid out a complete list of, of the evidence as to how we know that evolution is a fact. Okay, what, what sort of reaction have you had so far, if you don't mind me asking? A uh, very good reaction. Uh, it went straight to the top of the British bestseller list. Uh, it's been on it for two weeks now. Uh, and um, obviously selling extremely well and getting very good response. <laughs> well done you, I gave you a good old uh, marketing uh, uh, push there. So let's move on um, from our viewers tonight and as I say lots and lots and lots of questions coming in. No surprise there. Pi wants to know, is it human nature for man to seek his origins? I think it's possibly human nature to be curious. We do have big brains we have an emergent consciousness, an emergent uh, curiosity. And so to seek our own origins is a very natural thing to do. Yes, I think you could call it human nature. All right. Shram says that if uh, evolution were just a matter of survival, um, bacteria would do much better than anything else, he or she says. And ask the question, why did humans evolve at all? <laughs> well, um, su survival, of course, is what it's all about. There are lots of different ways of surviving. And given that bacteria survive extremely well, most creatures are bacteria, as a matter of fact, and we ourselves are largely made of bacteria. But given that bacteria are making a very good living the way they do it, there are other ways of making a living, and lots and lots of ways of making a living. Herbivores eat plants, mm. um, carnivores eat herbivores, uh, insectivores eat insects. Every way of life opens up the way mm. for there to be other ways of life. And the human way of life is just one of millions. All right. Well, Lyme poses an interesting question here on the Connect the World blog tonight. If irrefutable evidence was found that uh, a supreme being of the universe existed, what religion would it have most likely founded, if any? <laughs> well, what an absurd question. <laughs> um, uh, how on earth can I answer that, that question? I, I think that if evidence for a supreme being were ever discovered, the supreme being would be so much more supreme, so much grander, so much more intelligent than any religion has ever conceived of. It would be something far, far better than the paltry, puny productions mm. of existing religions. All right, I'm going to move on here. I've got to, I'm going to whip through some of these. Keep the answers short, if you will. Fascinating stuff. An Arabic atheist, uh, no name given, so let's call them just atheists, uh, supports your views and wants to know what you think is the best strategy uh, to, in his words, penetrate the iron curtain of the closed Muslim mind. His words, of course, not ours. If he lives in an Islamic country with an Islamic government, then he would have to be very, very courageous in order to admit to his atheism. Um, I know of people who are in Britain at the moment under threat of being deported to uh, Muslim countries because they are and, and, and are threatened with death because they are apostates. The Muslim penalty for apostasy, that's to say giving up Islam, is death. Um, so you need a lot of courage. I think the internet might be a very good way because you right. can remain anonymous on the internet. Use it. All right, quick one from uh, C. Arthur Young uh, asking tonight whether you are putting biologists in the same category as priests. Are they now the ones, he says, with the skills to diving truth, the new enlighteners of the world, if you will? I didn't quite hear that. You're, you're shouting rather loudly in my ear. I'm so sorry. I... Putting biologists in the same category as priests, your thoughts? putting biologists in the same category as priests. Priests believe what they believe because they read it in a holy book. Biologists believe what they believe because they see evidence. There's very little in common. All right, and finally, let me give you one more. Wasif suggests that it doesn't have to be an either-or debate. He says there is, there is a God and there is a science. Your thoughts, Richard, finally? Well, I don't think there is a God, but in any case, my latest book, The Greatest Show on Earth, doesn't dispute the possibility of there being a God. It's all about evolution and creationism, and it can be read uh, without disagreement by any religious person, because the sensible religious people, at least, also believe in evolution. And Richard Dawkins, with that, we leave it there. We thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you very much.